Um, so, do we need to increase blood flow? No. Blood flow, increasing blood flow has nothing to do with neuromuscular physiology. Stop worrying about blood flow. Okay. When they get up and they get active, because now you've increased most stability, which is motion, strength, and stability all at the same time. They have full range of motion, full stability getting there, full ability to get out of the end range of motion and reverse that. So they have a short amortization phase. Then they can go exercise and then they can increase their own blood flow. Crazy. Okay. So notice I did all of that with one tool. I have no tools in my toolbox. I have one tool that I take with me everywhere. It's related to my critical thinking. It's related to applying physiology. It's a, it's related to explaining science to patients. So instead of t telling them stories about trigger points, which don't, it don't exist, I can actually talk to them about what physiology does.